Hey guys. Hey, today we're gonna get ready for a showdown. Really? <laughs> yes, we are. We're gonna show two amazing Del Webb communities, one in the rolling hills of Mineola and the other in Winter Garden, just a stone throw away from Disney. Yeah, you know, people always come here and they're trying to decide which place do they want to go. They're very different. They have different uh, a feeling when you go through them. Like you said, one is close to the magic. A lot of people come here because they want to be close to the mouse. Um, you can sit in your community and watch the beautiful fireworks from Magic Kingdom, or you could be in the beautiful vista views on hills, rolling hills and the lake. But you know, the great thing about it is they're both close to things like restaurants and shops. So uh, they both sort of get tied on they're that one. They're both great and they're both very unique in their own way. And we're going to explore. Um, we'll go through model home, but we'll also explore the differences. We're going to talk about the clubhouse, what they offer. We're going to talk about HOA and what it takes to get into these communities. So if you were deciding, trying to decide which community you really wanted, we're going to explore that and show you things that's been happening in each community because they're still building. All so, right, so saddle up. The showdown will begin shortly. All right, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Really close they are to each other. So you have Del Webb Oasis down here and you have Del Webb Mineola up here. Very different topography on both of them. You know, Florida's pretty flat, so, but until you get up in this area, Claremont Mineola, you are in rolling hills, beautiful lake views. There's a lot to do in this area. So if you love the water and and boating and everything this may be your area so if you need to hit the road let's talk about you're so close to the turnpike so there's a new turnpike that has opened that'll bring you right over to Orlando uh, you can go down to Disney you can go over to theme parks over in this area you know you you have both coast that uh, you could go to the the uh, beaches and all the fun stuff but you're also really close to Lake Ridge Winery. Um, in the Lake Ridge Winery, you're minutes away, you know, in this area, it's in Claremont, but uh, Lake Ridge Winery sits on 127 acres of rolling hills. They have live entertainment on the weekends, free wine tasting. I mean, how many places have free wine tasting? Um, but you also have over here, you in Claremont, you have the Waterfront Park. Uh, that's a beautiful place to go. You have uh, a little beach there that people, you can watch the jet skis and, and boating and people swim in the lake right here. And you have your historic downtown. Uh, it's, a, it's a really, really cool place. But you know, if that's not your thing and you love to be close to the mouse, we have a lot of people that come here from all over and they want to be just really close to Disney and all the fun things here. You have, uh, you know, uh, Flamingo Crossing right up in this area. You're really close. I mean, you're within, I don't know, 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes maybe to the gates, the, you know, going into Disney. Uh, you have Margaritaville, all this corridor. You have tons of restaurants and, you know, things to go to here, not to mention Orlando and all the other things to visit and, and explore. Again, you're right here. You have both beaches on both sides between the Gulf and the Atlantic side. Um, but you can't go wrong. I mean, over here in Oasis, you can see fireworks from Disney, you know, from uh, this location. Um, so, you know, you can't go wrong again. It just depends on what you're looking for in a retirement community. And so we want to dive into this and uh, let's go on our journey. Our plan is to give you a little bit more insight on both communities. Now, Del Webb Oasis is a little more boutique -y. It's 422 homes, so everything's a little bit closer together whereas Del Webb Mineola is 846 homes and it's a little spread out, it's terraced and it's in the hills, so a little bit bigger. As we drive down the corridor of Hancock Road, this is, you're gonna find rolling hills. I mean, it's really hard. People are 
really surprised when they come here in person and they're like, wow, this is better in person than on video. But it is a beautiful landscape as you're driving around. So our first stop will be Mineola. We really want to give you insights and uh, tell you how you can get into this community and what it's all about. Now, as we start climbing the hill on the way to the entrance of Del Webb Mineola, you can see this beautiful landscaping that they've lined uh, as you enter. But look at this water feature that they recently put in right before you go in the entrance. Yeah, every time we come here, there's something new, something different, and we love updating you and showing you the, the newest and greatest things that they're doing and accomplishing in the communities. This is a beautiful community. As we approach the community, we wanted to talk a little bit about this. You know, as both communities are guard-gated communities, so those are the very similar things that they have in common. But driving into this community, you're going to see very picturesque uh, terraced homes, terraced sites, and uh, it's just a beautiful location. Now, to get into this community, uh, deposit-wise, right now they're requiring seventy-five thousand down if you're ha if you're doing a loan and 125,000 if you're paying cash. So that's something that you wanna keep in mind. We love seeing all the things that they're working on. This is the future Veterans Memorial Park. This is just after you come inside the entrance. So it's gonna be a little area to be able to sit down and a little walking path to move around in there. Of course, it's not built yet, but we're going to show you some artist renderings of the 17,500 square foot clubhouse. This is going to be the hub or the center of the community. This is where everybody's going to want to go. Yeah, it's the first ever two-story clubhouse that Dell Webb has built. So everyone is really excited about this one. You'll have your resort style pool for relaxation and fun and meeting your friends, pickleball, tennis courts. Uh, you will have an outdoor terrace that's 5,000 square feet, which then you'll see. You're going to be able to see Lake Apopka and the hills, so the view is going to be tremendous. Yeah, and you'll also have, you can dine in style with your indoor, outdoor bar and grill. So, uh, you know, this is going to be pretty unique to some of the other Dell Webs that are out there. Okay, let's not forget that you also have a lifestyle director and there's tons of walking trails around the place as well. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about HOA. So HOA fees in here will range between $374 to $394 a month. And you will have an annual food and beverage, which is a little bit different than some of the other Dell Webs. It'll be 840 a year, but that's, you know, gonna be kind of like a tab. You know, you'll go in and you pay it annually and you go in and you use it as you, you know, drink and eat throughout the year. So you're gonna spend that anyway, hanging out with your friends. This community also has a CDD. It ranges from 1650 to 2150 per year. And remember, this is paid in your taxes. We always say that when you get into a community in the very beginning, that's your best bang for your buck because we've already seen prices go out up in this community. So let's talk a little bit about what we're seeing here. Well, right now we're looking on the left is a terrace uh, where the scenic series is gonna be. You can see they're terracing it right there and the homes are gonna be at the top part of that, that dirt's all gonna go away. But we're looking down to where the community center is gonna be right down in there. So you'd be overlooking all that. Yeah, so as we continue up, uh, let's talk a little bit about the series. There's three series in here. There'll be a scenic series, which we're about to go through right now. And that's where you're gonna see these mounds of dirt. You know, these weren't here just, you know, several weeks ago, but they're again, building that retaining wall. So that'll go away. And beyond the dirt is when you, where you see Lake Apopka. Now in this series, you have three models to choose from and they range between 1405 square feet to 1806 square feet. Base prices in here are from 399.9 to 419.9 and this is just your base. It has nothing to do with your lot premiums, which lot premiums will be determined upon your views, uh, the lake and if you're a back to back or, you know, wherever your lot is situated in. All right, now we're going to talk about the distinctive series. There's seven models that are available in that series and the prices range from 456,990 to 577, 
490. Remember that that is the base price and you still have to add in uh, the lot premiums, the structural and design. And the square footage in this series ranges between 1670 to 3210 square feet. So you can get a pretty good size home in here. Um, you know, and not to mention again, you know, depending on where your view is, is what you're going to be paying in, in your lot premium. Now, when people heard about this community coming into Mineola and being in the hills, this was like so popular. And during their VIP, they sold a lot of lots. And so this is what you're seeing now. They're building from the very beginning of the VIP uh, reservation. So it's nice. Isn't it nice just seeing homes starting to go up in a neighborhood being formed? We always enjoy that. Yeah. Now the last series we want to talk about is the Echelon series. That is your bigger homes and you'll have homes between 2269 to 3657 square feet and prices will start at 606.990 and go all the way up to 679.190. Again, that's just base price. And again, we want to mention we are on phase two, so there's some more phases to go. But of course, as the phases go on, the prices go up. The other big difference between this and uh, Oasis is this has a scenic series, which Oasis does not. Oasis has villas and uh, Mineola does not have villas. So instead of villas, they have that scenic series, which is your single family homes, the smaller homes. All right, we're gonna move on to show you a model home so that you can compare what you get in Mineola to Oasis. But before we do that, we wanna remind you that we do not work for or represent the builder, that we're local realtors here to give you great information about these two communities. So our goal is to just uh, help you find that perfect home here. Yeah, and if you want to be buyer represented, you do have to uh, go in with your realtor or let them know who you're working with because once you go in unrepresented, you can't change that down the road. So if you want buyer representation, give us a call. We'd love to help you during and after the process. All right, let's talk about the Prestige model, which is offered in both communities. They both offer 40-foot homes on 50-foot sites, two to three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and two car garages. So what's different? It's all about the price in these and two location, right? Of course, of course. It's all, and there's not a right or wrong in here. I mean, it really depends on where you want to be. We have people in both communities and they love it, you know? So it depends, are you, do you wanna be closer to uh, Disney and all the theme parks and all the restaurants down there? Or do you wanna be a little further away in the hills and the, the scenic, scenic areas uh, of, of the Mineola? All right, so the base price for in Mineola is $511,990. In Oasis, it's $574,990. So, and then lot premiums. Lot premiums are more reasonable in Mineola. Um, and again, it depends on, you know, are you getting a lot with a view, because that will go up, or are you getting, you could get a back-to-back, -back, meaning your backyard faces your neighbors behind you's backyard. Or if you're in a cul-de-sac or a pie-shaped lot, usually those lot premiums go for more as well. And I can tell you at Oasis, lot premiums are much higher. You are in Orange County, you're in Winter Garden, versus Mineola, you're in Lake County. So uh, there is a big difference in, in your premiums here, um, but it really depends on, again, location and where you wanna be. Now the Prestige model that we're showing you is in the Distinctive Series. It's in both places and you can just see the open floor plan and the space that's in, in the gathering yeah, area. Yeah, it's great for entertaining. Um, this, this is a great model to give you an example. Now the square footage goes from 2,080 square feet to 2,262. And you're probably wondering why is there a difference? Well, there's a lot of different things that you can do to affect that. You know, the options are, you know, you can uh, extend the covered lanai, you can put a, a sunroom in there, you can take the flex room and turn that into a bedroom, you can extend the garage four feet, so all these different options change the square footage. And you know what, one thing I like about this uh, bathroom, this, this master bath, 
This is kind of unique. I mean, look, you're going to go in this big master closet and here we go. We have a laundry chute into the laundry room. How cool is that? Of course, it doesn't open by itself like that. I was helping there. <laughs> As we head out of this model, we're going to head over to the Oasis and show you what's been happening over there. Hopefully this gives you a lot of insight into pricing and things that are going on in each community. Okay, we're on Hartsog Road, which some refer to as Million Dollar Row or Rodeo Drive of Winter Garden. But you can see as we're coming into the entrance how lush and beautiful the entryway is. This uh, community is established because they've been building here for a while, so things really look nice and uh, well-maintained. Well, we always love coming around and seeing what's being built and what's being added to the community. So in here, uh, they are gonna have a resort style pool and spa. They'll have pickleball, tennis courts, which those are already built, a uh, luxurious 12,000 square foot clubhouse, a coffee lounge, an encore lounge with a covered patio terrace, and not to mention fireworks from the community. So depending where you are in the community, you'll get to see that. They'll have community walking paths and a lifestyle director that will keep the good times rolling. So there's a lot to offer in this charming smaller community, but it's a small community with a big personality. This is a great location. You're so close to Disney. You can be there in minutes. You have Flamingo Crossing right outside the gates and you can go down to Margaritaville for a date night. So the question is, if you really want to be in this community, what is the down payment? So it depends on what series you're eyeing. There's three series, villas, distinctive, and echelon. So if you choose the villas, you want 20, you'll be putting 25,000 down. If you want the distinctive, that's 50,000, and echelon would be a $75,000 deposit. Now let's talk about prices. They are on their third phase, uh, so there's not much time left if you want to be in this community. If you're looking at villas, they start as low as the low 400s with some already spec'd out homes, so you can be out the door under 500,000. The Distinctive Series offers homes ranging in 1,670 square feet to 2,870 square feet. And the base starts from 530,990 and goes all the way up to 635,990. If you want the bigger series, the Echelon, you're looking at homes that range between 2269 square feet to 3453 square feet. And uh, the base prices in here range between 665,990 to 738,090. So remember, you still have a lot of premiums to add to that, design and options. Uh, so, you know, depending on your series, the prices could go up. And I know lot premiums in here can go for a lot more than in the Mineola area. The builders are offering incentives to buyers. So when you're ready to buy, we'll see what they're offering because they do change frequently. The monthly HOA fee varies by series and they range from $536 per month for the villas to $474 and $484 for the single family homes. And by the way, there's no CDDs here. Thank you for joining us on our tour today of the two Dell Webb communities. So what did you think? Do you have a favorite? If you're considering a Dell Webb community, give us you know, your comments. We, we would love to hear about them. Again, both great, great communities, and we have clients that we have sold to in both communities. So we know it's a place that people wanna be. And, uh, They're yeah. both great communities. And of course, we'd like to thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate you. And we uh, do these videos for you. So uh, stay tuned for the next and we'll see you soon.